Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss some great Raspberry Pi projects. Without further ado, let's start with... This project turns a Raspberry Pi 5 into a unique desktop computer using the classic Pepper's Ghost Illusion. Inside a glass dome, a circular LED screen projects its image onto a transparent acrylic sheet set at a 45 to 60 degree angle. When the light reflects, it creates the appearance of a floating display suspended in mid-air. To keep everything running smoothly, the Pi is cooled with a heat sink and an optional fan to avoid thermal throttling. All the electronics sit neatly inside a custom 3D printed base, finished in matte black with a faux brass rim. It hides the cables, supports the dome, and completes the device with a vintage display-ready look. Next on the list, we have a DIY smart glasses system that adds a small heads-up display, onboard controls, a microphone, and even a camera to a regular pair of glasses. The display sits in front of one eye using a compact arm and a cut VR lens, which magnifies a tiny screen so it appears like a floating overlay. The angle and distance can be adjusted so it doesn't block your vision but still stays readable. Three navigation buttons, up, down, and select, let you move through menus or control on-screen information. A camera module clips onto the top of the frame, and an onboard microphone adds support for basic voice inputs. All of this is housed inside custom 3D printed enclosures that sit neatly along the glasses. Because it runs on a Raspberry Pi, the possibilities are wide open. You can display hands-free information like notifications, timers, or system stats. You can record first-person video using the camera, run basic computer vision tasks, or scan QR codes. Michael took a Raspberry Pi 5 and transformed it into a powerful desktop server by adding an SSD, a UPS hat, a display, and a custom 3D printed case with active cooling. It is ideal for running a desktop OS or turning the Pi into a lightweight home server. The Pi 5 is equipped with a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD for high-speed storage, connected via an NVMe hat. To ensure reliability during power outages, a Subtronics UPS hat is added between the Pi and SSD, offering up to two hours of backup power using 18650 batteries. For cooling and potential overclocking, an ice tower cooler is mounted directly to the Pi, with its fan relocated to the side panel for improved airflow. The case, designed in Fusion 360, accommodates this hardware stack with sleek, clear acrylic side panels, brass inserts, and a dedicated mount for the display. Our next project is a DIY hot plate soldering station controlled by a Raspberry Pi Pico. Unlike traditional soldering irons or hot air guns, this setup uses an inexpensive 3,400 watt heating element designed to act as a PCB reflow hot plate. For temperature sensing, an NTC thermistor was used, providing real-time thermal feedback to the system. The entire setup is mounted in a custom enclosure combining 3D printed PLA parts with laser-cut plywood to insulate the PLA from heat. A small LCD and rotary encoder on the front panel allow temperature setting and monitoring, while an AC connector and switch are mounted at the back. To ensure safety, the code includes a fault detection mechanism that cuts off power if the thermistor is disconnected or the temperature fails to rise as expected. Next on the list is Pilate, a retro-futuristic open-source mini-computer powered by the Raspberry Pi 5. This project was liked so much by the people that it raised more than $500,000 on Kickstarter. Boasting a 7-hour battery life, it's built to take your projects anywhere, whether you're experimenting at your desk or on the go. It comes in two variants, Pilot 5 and 7, both sharing the same core hardware but offering different form factors. Pilot 5 features a 5-inch touchscreen, a thumb-friendly keyboard powered by QMK firmware, and a precise trackball that makes navigation easy. You also get extra input options like a scroll wheel, a navigation switch, and classic game buttons. If you need more screen space, Pilot 7 offers a 7-inch touchscreen and runs KDE Plasma for a full Linux desktop experience. Everything inside is open source, so you can modify, tweak, or rebuild the whole device however you want. Before we move forward, a word from our sponsor. If you're working on electronics projects, you know how important it is to have an ECAD environment that keeps your designs organized and reliable. 
A good workflow should offer clear version control, rule-based checks, real-time collaboration, and visibility into component availability so you can move from concept to a manufacturable board with fewer mistakes. That's the approach Altium focuses on, helping engineers maintain consistency and manage their projects more efficiently. And for students who want to learn these skills early, there's Altium Student Lab. It's a free learning program that introduces professional design workflows through guided lessons, a cloud workspace, collaboration tools, and certification. To get more details, visit the link in the description. This hat lets you transform your Raspberry Pi into a compact dual-channel transmitter and receiver, while also giving full control over the onboard FPGA. With two independent channels, one for sub-gigahertz frequencies and one stretching all the way from 30 megahertz to 6 gigahertz, you get a wide window into the RF spectrum. Whether you're scanning signals, building custom radios, or prototyping wireless experiments, it stays portable. Just plug it into your Pi and power it up, no external dependencies. You also get high transmit power, low noise reception, and an onboard clock for solid signal stability. And with an 8-bit PMOD expansion interface, you can integrate synchronization, GPS modules, or even custom control signals for external systems. Sean built this futuristic LED matrix mask that displays dynamic patterns and visuals across the surface using thousands of addressable LEDs. The mask is divided into individual LED matrix panels that fit together like puzzle pieces across the curved surface. In total, over 3,000 addressable LEDs were used, carefully arranged on these tiny boards. Each panel was soldered using a toaster oven for reflow and connected by soldering the boards at specific angles. This was the most delicate part of the project, as one wrong move could ruin the entire mask. But Sean handled it perfectly. For control, he first used a pixel blaze board that handles LED mapping, essential because of the mask's complex shape. But it was unable to display images and videos, so instead, he used a Raspberry Pi 5 running a Python script to display images and video, mapping the visuals perfectly to the irregular grid. This project shows how a Raspberry Pi can be used as the main controller for a CNC machine. Instead of relying on an external Ethernet controller, the Pi itself sends every step and direction signal needed to move each axis. At the heart of the setup is Linux CNC, a free and industrial-grade control system built on a real-time Linux environment. Once installed on the Pi, it handles G-code, timing, motion planning, and all CNC operations. The Pi's GPIO pins output the step and direction signals, which are then passed through a parallel port hat. This hat boosts those signals to 5 volts and routes them through a DB25 connector, where a breakout board isolates, organizes, and sends them to the stepper motor drivers. From there, each driver powers its motor with the torque needed to move the CNC's X, Y, and Z axes. This project is a compact stamping machine built with 3D printed parts and controlled by a Raspberry Pi Pico. It presses a pie-shaped stamp onto dough, paper, or cloth. The mechanism uses a micro servo connected to a slider and gear system. A custom 3D printed stamp, in this case, the pie symbol is attached to the slider. An IR sensor triggers the motion. When your hand passes in front of it, the servo lowers the stamp automatically. The Pico handles all the motion control, running a short MicroPython script uploaded through Thani. The circuit itself is minimal. The servo connects to pin 15 and the IR sensor to pin 14 of the Pi, and everything is powered over USB. Pi KVM V4 is a remote control system for computers. Its job is to capture the video output of a computer, stream it in real time to a browser, and send back keyboard and mouse inputs. Even the BIOS screen can be controlled remotely. It can reboot a machine, mount virtual drives, reinstall an operating system, or recover a failed system without needing to be physically present. The lineup includes the Pi KVM V4 Mini, which delivers smooth 1080p video, hardware level reset and power functions, and quiet passive cooling. The Pi KVM V4 Plus, a professional grade solution that adds a mini PCIe slot for optional connectivity, giving it an independent communication channel even when the remote PC has no internet access. An internal USB 3.0 port allows users to store OS images and recovery tools inside the device. 
This creator wanted to keep mischievous cats off a table, so he built an AI-powered deterrent system that uses computer vision to detect cats and sprays them with water when they jump on a table. It uses a Raspberry Pi 4B, which runs a custom Python script using OpenCV for image recognition. A camera module mounted on a rotating turret continuously scans the environment. If a cat is detected, the system checks whether it's inside a user-defined forbidden zone, marked using a coordinate polygon. If so, the turret automatically targets the cat and triggers a water spray to drive it away. The water jet is powered by a soda stream bottle pressurized with air, fitted with a custom-made adapter and pressure gauge. A motorized valve controls the water release, while SPI-compatible stepper drivers manage the precise movement of the turret. Ardu Cam Pi Vistation 5 is an all-in-one camera kit family designed to streamline the development process for Raspberry Pi-based embedded vision projects. With the powerful Raspberry Pi 5 at its core, this all-in-one camera kit family eliminates the complexities of sensor selection, lens matching, and software configuration. Designed to save time and effort, it enables users to reduce their POC time from weeks or months to mere days or hours. Each kit is pre-configured, tested, and ready to use, allowing developers to skip the tedious setup and focus on their projects. For tasks requiring exceptional autofocus and ultra-high resolution, the Pi Vistation 5. Hawkeye delivers unparalleled image clarity and precision. By selecting the ideal model based on your project's requirements, you can easily achieve professional-grade results without specialized expertise. In this project, an old LEGO Mindstorms kit from 1998 was modernized using a Raspberry Pi 5 to create an AI-powered trash-sorting robot. Instead of the outdated Windows 95 software, a custom web-based graphical programming interface was developed using Google's Blockly library. This user-friendly interface generates Python code that communicates with the original LEGO brick using the NQC language via a USB to serial adapter and an IR tower. For AI-based classification, a Pi camera captures images of objects placed on a LEGO-built conveyor belt. These images are sent to GPT-40, which identifies each item as trash or recycling. Based on the AI response, the robot activates motors to sort the object into the correct bin. A touch sensor triggers this process, and a simple logic loop continuously waits for input. The DTDX is a professional hardware synthesizer developed by Dtronix in collaboration with Probono PD, creator of the Minidext project. This device is a compact yet powerful solution, bringing the iconic FM sounds of the Yamaha DX7 and its variations into a modern, portable unit. Using a Raspberry Pi 2.0, the DTDX can run eight polyphonic FM synthesizer engines simultaneously, enabling splits, layers, and complex multi-timbral setups, all in a robust metal housing. The DTDX is built with a thoughtfully designed interface, including a backlit orange display, push encoder, USB and MIDI connectors, an SD card reader, and stereo outputs with a high-quality DAC offering 122 decibels dynamic range. It is compatible with MIDI keyboards and controllers, providing musicians with a flexible and user-friendly instrument for stage, studio, or home use. Next, we have a desktop case built for the Raspberry Pi 5. It's compact, sturdy, and designed to work with the ice tower cooler, using its fan to keep your Pi running smoothly. The ports are all neatly accessible. Ethernet and USB at the back, power and HDMI on the side. A custom button adapter extends the Pi's power button to the side of the case, so you can turn it on or off without opening it. The status LED shines through, letting you see when the Pi is running. And for quick access, the clear acrylic panel lifts off so you can reach the SD card without a hassle. The Photon Power Zero is a power management solution designed specifically for the Raspberry Pi Zero. This innovative hat provides seamless support for a single-cell 3.7-volt lithium battery while enabling charging via USB or 5 to 9-volt solar panels using a system designed for efficient energy use. It continually monitors battery levels, communicates with the Raspberry Pi, performs graceful shutdowns to prevent data loss, and automatically restarts the Pi when the battery recharges. 
Having been rigorously tested under the sun for over six months, it's proven its reliability and performance. XGO Rider is a smart, wheel-legged robot packed with AI features. It comes integrated with ChatGPT, enabling natural voice conversations, along with capabilities like gesture recognition, face detection, skeleton tracking, and more. With its 5-megapixel camera, dual MEMS microphones, and chambered speaker, it handles both image and audio interactions effortlessly. At its core, it uses a Raspberry Pi compute module. It features a bright 2-inch IPS display and supports dual-band Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0, giving you smooth connectivity for apps and development. To expand its capabilities, it includes a high-speed interface with programmable keys, dual speaker ports, USB-C, micro HDMI, and a 4-pin PH 2.0 connector for hardware add-ons. If your Raspberry Pi projects keep getting interrupted by sudden power cuts or unstable supply, this power management board is the fix you've been looking for. It's a compact UPS-like solution that ensures your Pi keeps running smoothly, even when the mains go out. With a built-in 1500 milliamp hour battery, it can keep your Raspberry Pi alive for several hours without a hiccup. It features a smart charge controller that protects against overcharging, supports high-speed charging up to 1.5 amps, and even works with solar panels through configurable PowerPoint settings. A built-in power manager communicates with the Pi over I2C to handle clean shutdowns, monitor voltages, and prevent deep discharges, all automatically. It also includes thoughtful features like an on-off button, power R charge indicator LEDs, a real-time clock for timed wake-ups, and an auto-boot R shutdown system that adjusts based on power availability. Our next project stands out because it was designed with the help of AI. Michael started by using an AI image generator to come up with the concept, but since the results weren't very detailed, he refined and polished the design in Fusion 360. The result is a sleek case that gives your Pi 5 a modern look, provides great airflow to keep it cool, and makes all the ports easy to access. The body is 3D printed in black and white PLA with a clear acrylic front panel. On the inside, custom-cut fluorescent blue acrylic pieces are paired with LEDs to create a bold illuminated effect. Cooling comes from a rear-mounted 40mm RGB fan tucked behind a mesh cover pushing air across the board and out through vented side panels. All ports are cut out for easy access, and the compact frame holds everything firmly in place with brass inserts and screws. Bijan built a custom retro-style mini laptop using the Raspberry Pi 02W. Inspired partly by the Macintosh Portable, the design features a 3D printed case with a hinge display and a compact inland 47 key keyboard. The display is a 7-inch LCD panel connected via an FPV HDMI cable to the Pi, powered by an Adafruit Power Boost module and a small lithium polymer battery. Power is delivered to both the screen and the Pi, with a simple micro-USB charging port accessible at the back. Inside, the battery is secured with a custom cover, and the display is attached using a hinge mechanism that allows tension adjustment. If you've made it till here, then drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We will be back with some great ideas soon. Till then, goodbye.